everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. And today we are going to talk about a book that I didn't think I'd be finished with. Um, actually, I didn't even know I was going to read it or listen to it before I listened to it. Uh, it is called, oh my gosh, what was it called? The Vampire Kisses. And... You know what? Let's talk about everything else first and then we'll get to it. Um, so I got a new cup. In case y'all don't watch my Nancy Drew videos, um, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Um, when my coffee is first made, because I use the Keurig and it, and so when it first starts getting coffee in it, it slowly starts to change into the map and it has ron harry and hermione's name on it it's super cute it was a birthday present and um i think this is one of my favorite birthday presents that i got this year um the long lasting present anyway my favorite was um my mo my mom got me um a little a little plant I could show it to you. I'll show it to you. Okay. Um, my mom got me this. It's a little terrarium. It has. Little plants in it. And. Um, it's got a uh, different colored moss in it. So when the light hits it, it actually looks like there's mold right there, but there's not. Um, I was like, what? Um, I love it. I, I like little plants that I can keep in the house. Um, it is slightly overwatered right now. And um, this weekend, I'm going to replant them in separate containers so that they have room to get bigger. Um, this here, so I don't knock it over. My, oh, my hair is. My shirt is, I love you to Hogwarts and back, which is fitting. It kind of goes with my, my cup. And I made a, made myself a bracelet. I made my kiddo one too, but um, hers didn't turn out very good. And I tried to put a stretchy band in hers, and uh, it didn't work as I planned. So I think I'm gonna make hers with a little clasp like mine. Mine is a little magnet clasp. Uh, just because I didn't. I used to wear them all the time, and now that I'm an adult, I don't like wet things stuck to my wrist, and yeah. Um. Anyway, so we're going to talk about, or I'm going to review Vampire Kisses by Elaine, no, sorry, Ellen Elaine. Ellen, oh, I don't know how to say her last name. The video, the, the side, this side, I think we'll have the, I'll, I'll make it post the book, a picture of the book. Okay. So let me pull up the uh, little, what the book's about. Like, what's it called? That thing. It says, sorry if I was too quiet. I didn't realize how far away my, um, um, Mike was. Okay. It says, this is for 12 and older, and I definitely concur. <laughs> um, it says, the mansion on top of Benson Hill has been empty and boarded up for years. But a new family has moved in 
a family that never ventures out during the day. Who are these creepy people, especially the handsome, dark, elusive Alexander Sterling? Or rather, what are they? Could the town gossip actually be true? Are they vampires? Raven, who secretly... Covents? Covets? I don't know what that word is. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Um, a vampire kiss. She wants, okay? She secretly wants to be kissed by a vampire. But at the risk of her own mortality and Alexander's loving trust, is dying to uncover the truth. So the book is short. It's a small book. It is 253 pages, depending on which source you're using. And um, it is recommended for ages 12 to 15 or grades 7 through 9. And, um, okay, I like vampires. I like things that are spooky, vampires, um, zombies, werewolves. I am that girl. Okay, I like horror movies. I love, I love stuff. Um, when I first started reading or listening, because I listened to this book and it was one of those, I just needed something to listen to. <laughs> My kid's back there. It scared me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just needed something to listen to in the shower. And I wanted to listen to something that would be, you know, useful. Um, so I was like, uh, I went down the list and I was like, this one, this one's on Audible. And I just got it. Didn't realize how short it was until I started listening to it. And I was like, well, it's an easy listen to. Like, it's easy to follow along. I'm not going to tell you what happens because this isn't a spoiler. Um, it's easy to follow. Uh, it's kind of. It's very teen. OK, <laughs> uh, it is exactly how you would think a teenager would act. Um, and she's kind of spoiled. <laughs> Um, anyway, and I liked this book. I did. I like it enough that I want to listen to the next book. Uh, I think there's like three or four in the series. Let me, two, five, six, seven, eight. I'm seeing eight. I'm on, I'm looking through the Amazon thing. I see eight. Um, thinking. Apparently, there's like a comic book type thing also. That one looks, in a graphic novel. I want the graphic novel. Just so I can see the graphics. Oh my goodness. Um, sorry, I just got really excited. I might have to get them in in graphic novel form. Um, this is cute. Uh I'll post a picture uh, on the side of what the graphic novel looks like. Um Yeah. Okay, um, this changes everything. It looks like the graphic novel is uh, shorter. <laughs> she wanted me to have a lick of her sucker. It's a vitamin C pop. Go, go on. I'm on. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, three-year-olds, um, any, 
anyway, uh, I just got really excited because I didn't know they had graphic novels also. Um, that's fun. Uh, okay. Well, I'll have to read up on that. Um, <laughs> anyway, I listened to... Oh, I could have... Go back. Go back. Okay. Just... I will keep looking at that later. Um, I don't know how to say the author's last name. I should because I listened to it and they said her name twice and yeah anyway I thought it was a good book uh there's a lot of teen drama and um I was very much like Raven in high school she doesn't take crap from other people and she's not afraid to fight <laughs> sorry mom um I wasn't so much like that in high school but people really didn't mess with me in high school so anyway I don't know why my my camera keeps focusing I thought I fixed that um it is a good book it talks about, or not talks about, well, kind of. Bullying is bad. And that is, I feel like that was a theme in this book. Um, we kept coming back to bullying. And at one point, Raven is even a bully, which, uh, teens. They can be mean, even if they're normally not. And, well, I don't know how to say it without spoiling the book. Okay, let me see. Um, something happens, and Raven is devastated. And uh, her and her dad have a long talk. And she's like, and he pretty much tells her in his own words because he's used to be a hippie and now he's part of a club that plays tennis. And uh, Raven points it out all the time. She's like, what happened to you guys? You used to be so cool. <laughs> um, and um, so after playing tennis with him um, and getting some aggression out because she hits those balls so hard. And of course, she never makes it back over because she's just. Oh. Um, after talking to dad and he pretty much is like. Don't let him get to you. He's just another kid. Don't fight fire with fire. Fight fire with water. <laughs> Douse him. Um, and I liked how this book. This book could have been a standalone book is what I'm going to say. Sorry, my face is starting to get really itchy and. um, I don't know. <laughs> um, try not to scratch. It could have been a standalone book, but like the last, probably the last paragraph. You you needed more. You need the second book. <laughs> you you need to know what happens. Um, so yes. My review for this book is, yes, I think that you should read this um, or listen to it. I listened to it and I enjoyed it. I, I really liked it. Um, there are some parts that you're like, oh, stupid teenagers. 
Um, but it's written for teenagers, and I understand that they have to put stuff like that in these books because it resonates more with the younger crowd, which this book is for. Um, Raven is 16. She has her sweet, sweet 16 in the book, and they do have a scene where... can't tell you all of it i can tell you okay they're teenagers and one of the boys is like oh let's go into the woods and she's like okay and uh she doesn't let him do anything but they do make out and there's they talk she talks about it um but obviously we know what he was trying to do So keep that in mind. It doesn't go into details. It does. It, it does talk about how he's been. He's. They say he's been with the whole cheerleading squad, but they don't specify what "with" means. So if your kid is a little more naive, they might not understand that. And if you have an older kid or it maybe you have one of those relationships where you do have an open talk conversation type thing, you can explain what that means in the way you want to explain what it means. Um, 12 years old. I mean, they've already had the talk because of puberty, so I don't see a problem with it. Um, since there is no scene other than she makes him take off his clothes. Yeah. It's funny, okay? Um, as an adult, I laughed because I'm like, how did how did he not realize? How did he not realize? Anyway, um, yes, it was a good book. I liked it. And um, let me know if you read it. Did you read this book? Did you like it? Don't give any spoilers. This isn't the spoiler one. Um, next week, hop over to my spoiler video and spoil it there. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, if you liked this video, I know I, I feel... I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like anxious today and I'm just like... My face is itchy and my eyes are hurting and it, it's, I'm just, I'm just here and, um, we're potty training. So I'm had to make this a short video and, um, literally I'm going to sit her on the potty and then come back after she's done going potty to make my spoiler video. And then I'm going to put her to sleep <laughs> because it's nap time and, um, I'm going to try to do some calming breaths. Um, so like this video if you liked it. Um, comment below if you liked the book, if you've already read it. And um, if you've read the whole series, does it get better? I need to know. I need to know. Uh, my I think it was my cousin-in-law who um, recommended this book on my reading challenge. and. Um, so, if it was you who recommended this book and you see this video, I need to know if the rest of the books are just as good as this one, okay? Um, it was either her or my friend. I'm not going to call any names out without permission. So, whichever one of you it was, I need to know if this was a good series. Um subscribe so that you can see not just my book videos but all of my books all of my all of my videos and you can pick which ones you want to watch because I don't just do book videos I also have a Nancy Drew series and I have where I play Nancy Drew and then I have uh, a review um playlist where I review things from Amazon and 
uh, other places. Amazon mainly, because that's where I get everything. Um, and then I do um, paper pie videos, which are children books that are mo mostly educational. And we do smart lab toys, which I don't have any of those right now. But uh, I have books. Um, because I am a paper by story maker, which is also known as a consultant in the world of people who don't know what a story maker is because it's a change. Anyway, um, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, share my videos and I will see you on my next video. Bye.